What's going on, guys? This is a video coming from Phil DFI Show Media. Um, this is basically about a pastor stealing money from a 77-year-old elderly woman. I'm going to play the video, then leave my commentary. Pastor Smith, Pastor Smith, Greg Coy, can we talk to you? Pastor Frederick Smith drove away when I went to his home to ask him about allegations by a former member. I don't want to see him. No part of it. Because he's a dishonest pastor. Cleavy Williams claims Smith stole her identity, opened up credit cards in her name that he used. Williams claims Smith failed on his promise to pay off the nearly $20,000 in charges that Williams says Smith made without her consent. I was just almost speechless. I couldn't think of anything to do. I said, what is this? I've never in a lifetime had a card or anything from Bank of America. Never. Did you ever open up a Bank of America card? No, sir. Sign it? No, sir. I've never been inside one of the banks. The Williams family gave me the last statement from Bank of America dated April 2015. The amount due is more than $19,000. I counted nearly $9,000 in charges he made in a week and a half. What happened? The credit card companies, what did they do? Did they start to call you? Did they say, pay us the money? No, they sent me mail. They right. started mailing to my address to be paid. How nervous were you? I just could not function. I was hurt. I would more or less say I was angry, and I just didn't know what else to do. Did you ever look at, at, at Pastor Smith and say directly, I know you did this to me? No, I went straight to the authorities. Williams filed this police report in May of 2015, identified Pastor Smith as a suspect, but later declined to press charges after he agreed to pay the Bank of America bills the next month. Williams says Smith never did. No, not all of it. They paid down and quit. They paid some and quit. Last Friday, I spoke to Pastor Smith on the phone. He told me three times that he never stole Williams' personal information to open a credit card. He told me Williams opened the Bank of America credit card and gave him permission to use it for church expenses. I asked Pastor Smith, why use a credit card of a 77-year-old woman? Smith told me it was a poor choice. Can you pay that off? Oh, no, I don't. Sir, I am a senior, and I own um, senior income once a month. No way. This guy is... Okay, you seen that, and that was just Phil giving his commentary before I went back. And, uh, you know, this goes on a lot in the uh, black community and all that stuff. You know, and basically what Phil was saying, and I'm going to hammer on his point, because, you know, I do watch his whole video for it. Back then, pastors and stuff, the church used to fight back against racism and white supremacy, especially, you know, Mar Reverend Martin Luther King, Dr. Martin Luther King, sorry. And, you know, a lot of uh, other uh, black uh, preachers and pastors, and I'm not going to say all their names, but, you know, nowadays all they want to do is the tithing, ask for 10% of your uh, our check and all that stuff like that. And I'm glad I don't give that much in my church. And I'm I go to a Catholic church, and you know what's wrong, what what they be doing with all the children and all that stuff and molestation and that. And I'm glad I don't even really give money to them like that. I just you know drop a dollar in there or something. Sometimes I even be change. Hey, they say every it don't it matter it doesn't matter what you give right. But I think this mostly goes on in Christian churches where, you know, they ask you for ten percent. Like I never really. Thing, I thought, like, why would you be asking for how much you want? Just accept what we give, right? But I guess, you know, it's the hustle. They got to get the money. And it is like, F your bills, your family, child support, and whatever you got to pay. Just give us your money, give us your money. Which is complete bull crap. But, um, you know, I hope this woman, uh, she gets uh, all her money back. And this guy faces definitely prison time. I don't care if he's a damn. I don't care if he's... uh a um uh, a pastor or a reverend or whatever you can't play uh be doing this to people stealing their stuff this is why there's so much untrust within a, 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 our community because people like him you guys let me know what you think in the comments subscribe share the video don't forget my children book aiden and amy in the hunted forest is available at slivers.com barnesandnoble.com amazon.com google play and apple store